Let's move on to the next question. So the diagram shows a cross section of a hollow cone and a circular cylinder. Okay, so here we have a cylinder, right? And here we have a cone. That's a cross section, obviously. Uh, the cone has radius six centimeters. Okay, this is the radius of the cone, six centimeters. And the height is 12. Height is 12, radius is six. Now, obviously, the first thing that I'm thinking about is we can find the slant height. We can find this height because this is a right angle triangle, obviously. We can find this. But anyways, let's see what the question will be for this uh, topic. Now, the cylinder fits. It just fits. So it fits exactly inside of the cone with all of its upper edge touching the surface of the cone. So the cylinder fits exactly inside the cone. This is R, and the height is H. Fair enough. Now part one, we have to express H in terms of R, and hence show that the volume of the cylinder is given by this. Now the first thing we can do is, how do you find the volume of a cylinder? Wait, let me write this here. Volume of a cylinder is equal to pi R squared. So we have to know this, it is not given to you. So that's the first thing we have to know, how to find the volume of the cylinder. Now. How can you express h in terms of r? So let's see. By observation, um, the first thing that I can see here is, if this is 6, this is r, it means that this have to be what? This length over here. For example, have to be 6 minus r, right? And this also have to be 6 uh, minus r, OK? And this big triangle is 12, and the height is here is h. So if you do realize, in this case, we have two similar triangles. Let me, let me draw this out. So first, we have this big triangle. I hope you guys can see that as well. The big one, the big one. The height is 12, and the radius is 6. Right. And this is 90, obviously, as you can see. And then we have another one. We have this small triangle. Let me draw this as well. We have this one, the smaller one. This one is 90. And the height is h, and this is 6 minus r, right? So now, as you guys, I think if you guys did paper 2 for O level, right, you do realize that whenever you have a triangle in another triangle, so a triangle in the big triangle and this is in the same direction it is vertical and vertical it will be similar so these two triangles are similar we can use similarity to express h in terms of r right now what properties do we know about similar triangles we know that their sides the ratio of their corresponding sides are proportional to each other so what does that mean it means that if i take h for example h over the corresponding side will be over 12. It has to equal to 6 minus r over the corresponding side, 6. So we can form this equation. So now we can simplify and express h in terms of r. So divide by 2, I divide by 6, sorry, that will be 1, and that will be 2. So h will have to be 12 minus 2r. h in terms of r is right here. Now finally, we have to find the volume. So volume have to be pi r square h. So pi is pi, r square is r square, and h is 12 minus 2r. That will have to be 12 pi r square minus 2 pi r cube. This is shown as required. So shown as required. Now for part two, Given that R varies, find the stationary value of V. So pretty easy. As we guys must know by now, at the stationary value, we have to know dV by dR has to equal to zero. So we have to understand that's the main equation we have to solve to find the value of that V for our stationary value. So first thing first, what is dV by dR? That will be. 24 pi r minus 6 pi 
r square. Now equate that to 0. First thing first, we can divide by r on both sides. You will have 24 pi minus 6 pi r equal to 0. So 6 pi r, that should be 24 pi. This and this will cancel out. Divide by 6, that will be value of 4. The radius here will be 4 centimeters. But that's not the value we're trying to find. We're trying to find the stationary value of v. So replace back in your main equation for v. That will be 12 pi r square is 16 minus 2 pi r cubed. That should be what? 4 cubed. That should be 64. That should be 16 times 12. That should be 192 pi minus 64 times 2. That should be 128. So 192 minus 128, that should be 64 pi. That will be centimeters cubed. Or you can find the value as well. That should be 201 centimeters cubed, correct, to 3SF. It's up to you. And that will be your question in relation to differentiation.